Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about SUVAT. I'm going to introduce you to the SUVAT equations. Now, SUVAT, as it's more uh, traditionally known, is an acronym for the following. So SUVAT, so S stands for, we use this letter to represent displacement. We tend to use D to represent distance, which is a scalar quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. U is known as the initial velocity. V, and it's really important, do you notice how I do the V? I put a little tick on the end of it. That means it's velocity. Sometimes you will have velocity and volume in the same formula and you don't want to get the Vs mixed up. This here is the final Velocity. A is acceleration. And this, of course, is time. SUVAT can only be used if acceleration during the motion is constant. So as long as the acceleration is constant, you can use this formula. You cannot use SUVAT to solve anything with a not constant acceleration or a chain, constantly changing con acceleration. Okay. Now there are four formulae that are given to you in the data sheet and these are here. First of all, displacement is the initial plus the final velocity over t, so it's the average of the velocities times by time. Displacement equals or s equals ut plus a half at squared. Final velocity is initial velocity plus acceleration times time, so v equals u plus at, and v squared equals u squared plus a 2as. There is another formula which some other students might be aware of, and it sometimes appears in maths, but it's not on your data sheet at all. It's s equals vt minus a half at squared. But that one there is not on your data sheet. Okay, so not on the data sheet. But some of you may have seen it before. Now it's really important to notice that most of these have something missing. So for example, this one is missing A for acceleration, so you could use it if you didn't know it. This one is missing the initial velocity. Uh, this one here is missing uh, displacement, and this one is missing time. So these are quite useful equations because in most cases for SUVAT, you'll be missing one or the other, and you need to find the unknown. So you can choose the formula that appeases to you. Now you're more than welcome to find more information out than you need um, using other formulae to get the next formula, that's perfectly fine too. And in videos coming up next, I'll be going through how to use the SUVAT equations with examples.